everyone. Uh, thank you for clicking on to this video. Um, I'm sure that uh, it has been a very interesting past few weeks, a uh, couple months. Um, I am very excited to be finally recording this video for you guys. Um, as you might have noticed, I have asked a few times in the Hey Houghton Facebook group for pictures of Houghton College. I'm sure my avatar here might give you a hint as to why I requested such pictures, and that's because I'm working on a little project. I have started to build Houghton College in Minecraft. Now, I've started with Gillette mainly because um, I think it's the most complex building as far as the sh building shape as well as it is a huge building. So I thought it would be easy for me to start with the most complex looking building first and then work around that. Especially since this building is kind of I'd say it's the most central. I mean, maybe it's a little off-center, of course you've got the quad, but as far as the whole campus goes, including Shen and Nielsen, that area, um, this is pretty center. So yeah, this has been a work in progress for, I want to say, a little over three weeks, and I am so happy to have finally finished this. Now, the outside, of course, is not completed, and um, there's a good reason for that, and um, that is because I want to work more on the outside area first before I can really finish, such as the parking lots and the outside trees. I do have a few trees, as you can see. But for now, I've just got the standard, right, the paths right in front of Gillette, and of course, the sidewalks in the back. So one of the things that was really difficult was, of course, measuring everything out. I originally started with building the front door, and I'm excited, I'm really excited to show you guys what exactly I've been able to build here. So you walk through the front door, scan in, and walk right in through the front to the main lounge. And here you've got the little RA desk, you've got the main lounge here, and even the little fireplace over there. And there's even some little ashes down there, showing that there was once a fire in that, in the fireplace. I can't forget this, the little key return, and of course, um, the little defibrillator, whatever you call that. I added that too. Sadly, it does not make a noise. And up here, you have the ARD, or the ARD apartment, the RA kitchen, and the RA lounge, with even a little television right here. Over this way, there's not much else except for a little restroom in here, with, even with a little toilet, the sinks, and that's about it. There's not much room for stalls, but I think we can manage with that. Now over here we have first new. And the way I set up these floors is I themed them around, or I designed them around however they were set up for this year. And that would be, of course, the year of 19, or 2019 to 2020. So the RA of this floor was, of course, Natalie. And the theme she chose for this floor was cabin. So. If um, there's of course a little fireplace, and I believe there was some streamers up here. There was something around here, I can't quite remember. 
I didn't have a lot of pictures of this, of the hallway, and um, from what I can remember, she had green banners too, and you can't really have, you can't really have streamers and things like that in Minecraft, so I kind of took creative liberty here and added just some standard birch leaves, and I thought it turned out pretty nice. Oh, and one thing that's fun too, I, for some of these rooms, I've actually customized them to look like the rooms, like if I happen to know what someone's room looked like, I set it up just like how they had it. And then go into the next room. And yeah, I really enjoyed coming up with these floor designs and kind of gave me a nostalgic view whenever I was looking, or whenever I was building these. It just almost felt like I was in that person's room. <laughs> and I tried to label these the best I could. I apologize if I've missed anyone. And over here is actually my room. And uh, the fun thing about this is uh, for the rooms that have the number 16, they are actually slightly smaller, as my roommate and I quickly found out at the beginning of the year. We originally had a different design plan based on other size rooms, and we found out, oh, our room's kind of small. So she was able to put her desk right with a view of a dumpster, right at the window. And for my side of the room, my desk kind of just became a glorified bedside table, and here's my little fridge. And that was kind of... We joked about having a view of the dumpster, and like, oh, they threw us with the dumpsters, and we joked about um, either we were going to throw each other in there, or we were going to jump in the there ourselves. So. Even though it was quite a small room, I actually- this room actually has grown on me quite a bit. I am gonna miss living in here next year. And here's what some of the sink rooms look like. I ended up using banners for- well, one banner for the mirror, and then it kind of looks like towels when you put them on the side here. So I thought that was fun. And for other rooms, for ones I didn't know what they looked like, I kind of just went with the standard design of, um, you know, when you first enter your room, th this is what the bed setup looks like. Or at least what I believe. My roommate got er got to college earlier than I did, so I who knows? <laughs> who knows what it looked like before this. And yeah. So what I'll be showing off next is Basement New, and the RA of this floor was Vivian, and I really liked her floor theme. It was, uh, I believe it was National Parks, and I, I really enjoy the National Parks. Now of course, there's not much I can do in Minecraft as far as a National Park theme, so I kind of just put paintings up everywhere but I still think it looks quite nice. Even that, Oh, I forgot to show this off. Um, each floor, there's gonna be an elevator. But, of course, they don't really have a function to them, they just... it just looks like an elevator. But I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that too much, because you can't use the Gillette elevator anyway. <laughs> So down here, we're going towards the Fireside Lounge, and um, I apologize for the coloring of this. The carpet is somewhat of a green tone, but this is the closest I could get as far as a green carpet. But I have the couches here. I don't think the coloration of the couches matches quite what it was, but I couldn't remember exactly what... I couldn't find any pictures in this room other than some ones I had taken that were kind of facing that way so it didn't really do me much good when it came to building the couches over here. I did remember the desk though 
And uh, here's the fireplace. One thing I thought was fun about this is um, the real fireplace actually has a little place you can hide in. So I thought it was fun building this. And then over here, there's another lounge with a few desks around here. Um, and of course the couches with a giant screen <laughs> with a giant screen and uh, a little control panel and of course another table for studying and such. I've built rooms for the bike room and the prayer chapel too, but I have not decorated those just because I haven't been in there as much. Now over here, we have the laundry room. And of course you've got the standard washers and dryers. And then a little table with some lost and found clothes. Another trash bin. And a um, towel dispenser. And a little custodial closet too. Now the next floor we're visiting is First Old, and this was Bella's floor. Her theme was really interesting. She had um, uh, she had bees, and there are Minecraft bees. But I didn't think we should actually have live bees flying around here, so I kind of just went with the of with um, the standard beehive set. I especially remember passing through this hallway uh, quite a lot in the winter as I would walk through the long way of Gillette just to avoid walking in the cold for that long. I even built the little stairs down to the health center, which is still kind of work in progress too. I regretfully do not know enough about the health center to properly build it. So over here we have second old, and this is Katie's floor. Her theme, I believe, was seasons. So what I did is to represent spring, I put up little flowers over here. And um, I can't remember if there was anything representing summer. I could be mistaken. And um, oh, here's a fun one. My friend JC's room. She lived in this room by herself, and um, I came over here quite a bit, and she put up this fun little sign uh, whenever we got the news that we were leaving, and uh, I just had to add it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> and then over here, she had a giant tree with everyone's handprint representing like the fall leaves. And uh, the leaves would have been fallen, and then you have little snowflakes up here whenever winter time came. And then over here you've got Second Main, and this was Sophie's floor. Uh, her theme was Alice in Wonderland, and she had a lot of unique decorations up, and I regretfully could not replicate that in Minecraft. However, she did have some uh, those pom-pom things, whatever the, whatever you call them, a lot of red and pink ones, so what I did, I just put them all over the walls here. And now this one's a floor I'm really excited to show off. This one is second new, and this is Kelly's floor. Now her theme was fall theme, and there's no, there's no autumn leaves in Minecraft, so I had to get kind of creative and I put uh, fall colored flowers all over the walls. 
And uh, I really can't forget the pine cones because um, the pine cones, they, uh, a great decoration, yet they kept scattering all over the floor. <laughs> her room and keep going on to uh, keep going on to their new then oh one thing that's fun look at all the pine cones <laughs> this is uh, pretty accurate to the standard view of this floor <laughs> Now third knew I had to get really creative on, as Sarah's theme was mountains, or I think it was mountains or rock climbing or something like that, and uh, the best I could do was kind of try to make little mountains, and uh, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, this one's the biggest of course, since it's kind of in the middle of the hallway. So third main was Brittany's floor, and her theme was ocean theme. Now, with this floor, um, there was mainly a lot of streamers, and um, yeah, these got pretty bulky as well, <laughs> considering for the colors, I can only have uh, these giant blocks. A, definitely a very colorful floor. Now over here is one of my favorite floors. Uh, <laughs> if I can get through the door. And that is uh, third old with Anna's floor. And her theme, she had a lot of whales. <laughs> and uh, this one I struggled to come up with a uh, decoration for a while because I'm like there's no whales in Minecraft and even if there were they'd be too huge to put anywhere on this floor but then I remembered these banners existed so I found the design and I think it looks really well before I thought of the banners I made these little aquariums despite the fact that aquariums never existed on the floor but I kind of liked them too much to take them down after I'd build them so I kind of just kept them there. One thing I'm really excited for is whenever I do start to get to the parking lots and build more of the campus, it's going to, these windows will have more of a view to look at. But for now, they're kind of just looking out into the horizon. <laughs> Now, of course, I should probably brace you because we are heading up to the haunted floor, as it's known, otherwise known as Fourth Old. And that is because absolutely no one lives up here. It is a closed off floor, and it is very quiet. And it gets. You hear a lot of creepy sounds whenever you're up here alone. And you might be wondering what the heck this door is, and that is actually a closet that is on the floor. Uh, fun fact, I got stuck in this closet for 40 minutes one time. I came up here to pray because it's so quiet, and just as I was thinking about leaving, uh, someone had come onto the floor on a phone call, and I thought, shoot, it's going to look really weird if I just suddenly open the door and suddenly a person comes out. <laughs> the sink switch, for those that are is there. Um, but yeah, I w she was on the call for quite a while and finally I texted about it and a friend's like, are you still in that closet? Do you want me to come get you? I was like, please help. So she came up there, got me out, and I learned that she was in one of the mini hallways. <laughs> so, I spent 40 minutes in the closet for nothing. I could have left the whole time. <laughs> so, for fourth new, 
Uh, this is Abby's floor, and I was told she had a theme of flourish with a lot of flowers and vines around. This is probably the least accurate floor, and I apologize for uh, that appearance. I do not... I have not been up here enough to really observe the walls and things, but... But yeah, I was pretty happy with how these little hallways turned out. It is fun to just kind of crawl through and check out the view of the rest of Gillette. And yeah, for the stairways, um, these, these stairways were actually a bit difficult to put together because I had to measure out and make sure that they felt natural, but also that they were accurate. So on the outside of Gillette, it's gonna, it was a little bit inaccurate, but I still think it turned out pretty decently. Now one area I forgot to show off is, um, once again you have the bathrooms, not as many stalls as there actually are, the sinks, the number of sinks is actually pretty accurate, uh, the shower rooms, there's only two stalls instead of three, and an actual bathtub. And then, here's the kitchen. Fun fact, uh, First New had a French microwave in the kitchen. And here's the lounge. And then there's one more area that I'll show off briefly. And I just wanted to point out the RD apartment here. And uh, I think this is pretty accurate. I'd been in here a couple times for floor events, and uh, regretfully, I, I, whoops, <laughs> another regret. Um, I wanted to put a little dog in here to represent Leela, the most adorable dog, or I should not say that, there's too many dogs in Gillette. <laughs> um, one of the most adorable dogs in Gillette, and uh, I would have put her in here, but sadly, Minecraft does not have... I don't think they have different breeds, they just have like a standard husky looking dog. So sadly Leela does not get to stay in this apartment, but maybe if Minecraft decides to update in the future. And that about covers it. This is... I am very excited to be f continuing this project. I don't know how long it's going to take me to complete this entire campus. Um, I, my next goal is to plan, uh, to build the campus center and um, I'll have to see, um, I do have pictures of that but it's going to be interesting to figure out the layout because for Gillette it was a little bit different because I had the floor charts to help me f measure and decide how r big the room should be. And uh, ooh, one detail I just thought of. Um, one thing that's cool about having all the lights or having all the windows lit up is. This is what it looks like at night. It just looks so alive at night when it when you see all the windows lit up. 
and I think it looks really pretty, honestly. I'm really excited for whenever I get to build the hill to the art building and Nielsen and to see the view from that hill. I'm really excited about this project. And, ooh, I definitely should say, thank you so much for everyone who has submitted pictures to help me get Gillette finished. Um, if you guys are able to send more pictures, that would be amazing. Um, my next project, like I said, will be the Campus Center, and I'll have to... Yeah, I'm gonna get to that next. So if you could get... If you guys could please keep sending pictures of the campus, that would be amazing. I would like to add in as much detail as I possibly can, and uh, hopefully I can get this whole campus done. Um, we'll have to see how long it takes. It took me pretty long for Gillette, but I'm excited to see where this goes. So uh, thank you all for watching this video. and. I hope that you'll stay tuned for more of the campus. Until next time, take care.